Hey everybody, how's it going today? I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day. It's not too bad out there. Definitely feels like we're heading into fall, but as it should. It's September 1st today, and that's kind of what... I know that's not the actual solstice change, the season change, but I see leaves changing on trees out there. To me, that means we're heading into fall. That's just... You can go by the calendar, you just go by feel. That's what I'm doing. So I stayed up late last night doing a bunch of work. I got the new servo into Clifford. I've got the brand spanking new, and I'll show you this in a minute, the 775 Titan motor, which is what it's supposed to have in it. Uh, summits were sold with two different setups. You get the twin Titan 550s, or eventually, I don't know when they did the change, but they started putting the 775, and that's that big honking can. So Clifford's all ready to go. We're just waiting for batteries to finish charging. And then we got to do a break-in cycle, which will consist pretty much of just gentle acceleration to top speed, all the way down the road, turning around, coming back, nothing aggressive, nothing abrupt. But uh, it, what it does is it helps the, they're called brushes, and they're these little metal tabs that sit against the commutator, which is a, uh, usually a copper piece that sits around the inner shaft of the motor and it helps to transfer the electricity to that inner coil that spins around inside the motor. Now unless you know brushed motor setup, if you've ever ripped one apart, you kind of know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, I imagine that sounded pretty, pretty drastically technologically foreign to you. So just know that it helps the power transfer evenly by seeding the brushes on the brushed motor properly and then you take your time to do it if you do it right it can increase the length of the lifetime of the motor so longevity it makes it last longer it can make it run better sometimes even make it reach a little bit higher of an rpm because it's smooth continual contact and yeah anyways i've said enough about that i don't know if i'm going to bother to film the, the whole break-in procedure is rather kind of boring, so just know that uh, Clifford is going to be doing really well today. And then, then there is Megas. You see how it's sitting right now? That's not good, is it? I've had this problem that I've been putting off fixing for a long time now. Ah, look at that castle. See that crack in, what is that, the, see that crack in the control arm there, it uh, allows the open, and it allows the end to open up, and it just, yeah, it doesn't keep the bearing carrier on there very well. Sorry folks, I'm at kind of a loss for words today, I had trouble waking up, and I still don't feel quite awake yet. So that'll be a quick fix, and then we'll be going out and probably doing some speed runs with Megas. Uh, Half and I were just talking about that. So batteries will be charging, and cars will be flying. Notice the axial fan on here. When I set up the castle fan with this two-cell lithium-ion pack that I made, the castle fan smelled... Batteries are done charging. The castle fan smelled like it was burning like I could smell burnt electronics and it wasn't coming from the motor or ESC or anything else it was coming from just that fan so I took it off it's like a nice little plastic cover clip thing I took it off and I wired this one on here because there's no other real way to mount it on there but it's solid you could probably lift the car up with the fan and I know that that runs really good with this so cooling issues are resolved it doesn't really, didn't really have any issues with heat yet. But we'll find out this afternoon. Hef's planning on running his mini E-Revo, his Merv, his Merv. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to bring that because that, if I bring the pink bastard, that means i got to charge more batteries for it. I already have two 3S batteries to charge up as it is. So we'll see how we're doing time ways. And uh, I think he's even bringing the XO1. So this could be a day of speed runs. All right, we made it out to our speed run road, and here are the contestants for the day. Well, it's, it's kind of a test in tune. We're not actually racing, even though we might 
it happens sometimes it's more or less test and tune so you know the usual characters we got megas and merv the pink bastard what'd you call him big blue big blue, big blue the xo1 and there isn't really just overkill i guess it would be overkill merv another mini e revo he's got the tenth scale set up in a sixteenth scale He's got capacitor banks, he's got a hot racing adapter, it's just he's got too much in there. <laughs> Lots of work. Lots of work, yeah. And just as we're setting up, and they don't they don't have a problem with us being out here as far as we know. Many police officers have even sat in the parking lot here while we've done our thing out on the road here, never ever given us a problem. But we've seen one just go whipping past and pulled in just down here so we're hoping there's not going to be any issues today maybe they'll stop and do radar for us yeah, that'd be nice. that would be nice okay we're gonna get set up and then we're gonna get at this This is a monster. Oh no! Oh, So we won't be getting to see the X01 do anything special tonight. Like I said, it's test in tune and it needs a little more tuning. I think it's the safest way to put it. Look at that sky, guys. It's like pink to orange and blues and purples. Red sky at night. So now we're breaking out the minis, the mini e revos, the mervs. Little speed demons. Oh, why am I having a range issue? Find out if I'm having a range issue. Maybe it's just me. Haha, uh -huh, it's freewheeling. It's freewheeling. I gotta go rescue my car. Oh no, he's gotta go rescue his car. <laughs> I think we're walking about the same amount of distance either way. <laughs> Something down here that keeps putting me out of range. Come on, Merv. I think I'm buried. Definitely buried. And I'm out of range again already. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. I think just booting along. That's a tough body, man. That's a tough body. It was literally bouncing on it.
Well, I'm not exactly sure why I'm filming. It's pretty much too dark to see anything, but we're pretty pleased with the performance of the cars. And again, sorry about the darkness, guys, but we were out late tonight doing this. Yeah, run out of daylight. Yeah, you know it's uh, an addiction when you run out of daylight. So we'll catch back up at home. Back home now, and I will have to say that both these cars did pretty good. Bit disappointed with the range issues. Ended up in the, uh, the dirt a few times, as you can tell. These things are going to need a bit of a cleaning. But I'm going to have to go over this antenna. And I kind of already did, and I didn't see any marks in it, but it was down between servo wires before. So uh, I want to figure out why this car won't go near as far as it used to. But as for Megas, for a car that's wearing just regular non-high speed tires with this new castle set up in it, oh my god. Not new castle, it's a new castle setup. And it solved a lot of the problems. Megas is doing, uh, how would you put that, rip roaring awesome. Megas is doing freaking great. I'm very happy with it and I'm not happy with the fact my phone just won't focus. There we go. So yeah, very, very happy, very pleased. It was worth the upgrade. It's going to be a long, hungry month, but I mean, now I've got a whole new power setup to work with, to tune. It's going to keep me busy, and it's going to keep me happy for the month. It'll keep me smiling. As far as Clifford goes with his new upgrades, I'm not overly impressed with this uh, new servo. I can find out, I gotta actually program it, turn it up a little bit, and then I can have my uh, full turning speed. And this motor, I drained about a half a set of batteries, so I guess like a battery, worth through it with no aggressive uh, acceleration or braking, just nice smooth up and down the road. It was a rather boring run, but it gets the motor broken properly, so it's gonna last. At least we hope that it's gonna last. Definitely torquier, definitely peppier, and a little better top end than the motor that was in here. So again, another thumbs up. I'm pleased. But as for the vlog tonight, I think we're going to call it quits for the night, guys. It's been another long day. Uh, hopefully the vlog wasn't too long today. I do realize yesterday's vlog was nearly a half an hour long, and it was just a day of vlogging. But we went to Wally World. Going back soon, going to have proper filming stuff, recharging equipment, and it just won't be a camera failure, failure, yeah, a failure failure, like there was yesterday. Way more to come on that. So, very tired, very exhausted, random Andrew here, I'm signing off, the vlog is over, the blah 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those days. Think positive, stay positive, and keep a smile on your face. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, vlog over.